ain't going away They told me I was wrong But look at my ass Da 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 You know what I can't stand people look like? They, they look at quarterbacks and they'll just look at the rings in the playoffs. You want to look at playoffs? How about you look at how um, they perform in the playoffs? Exactly. Listen. Yeah. For example, hey, let's say a guy throws for six touchdowns in the playoffs and his team loses and they get knocked out. Did he choke or did the guy yeah. who um, who threw for one TD and seven? Well, what happened? Action? All right. Um, I, I wish you had more substantial evidence to back that up because. I think there's I know. a lot of people who would poke holes in that, you know. And um, I just got to be honest with you, because um, I know how cynical a lot of sports fans are. But um, let's go to uh, Danny next. So, Danny, we, we've got to vote for Peyton Manning so far. Um, who's your choice? Oh, man, my choice. Um, man, I'm going to have to go with Johnny Unitas, man, because on, you know, nice. what's the guy? What did you say? Nine. Nice. Nice. God damn it. Um, I, w- I was going to say, John Unitas, in my opinion, is the GOAT because he raised his level on playing the playoffs, in my opinion, for what I've seen, what I watched, from what I read. He, read it, he, he stepped up in the playoffs, he put up great numbers for his time, and he was very consistent for a lot of years. And considering the era he played in, you could literally maul receiver and tear their face mask off, punch him in the face, you know. You could beat the hell out of receivers back then, man. It was ridiculous, and going for 32 touchdowns, you know, putting up those great numbers, and uh, most most times in the league, he, he led the league in touchdowns, yards, and there were some great quarterbacks back then, too, man, so uh, I'm going to have to go with Johnny you. Okay. All right. The one thing, though, I, I think is really hypocritical when, you, when you're comparing, like, let's, for example, Peyton Manning to... Johnny Unitas. I, I never hear people mention how good Johnny Unitas' targets were, but they'll mention how good Manning's were. You know what I'm saying? They won't mention about like Raymond Barry or John Mackey. Raymond Barry was such a beast, man. And now, one thing I want to ask you, Bruce, um, in your opinion, if Marvin Harrison never had beat Manning, would he be a Hall of Famer? I just want to ask you that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He would, he would have found a way to get it done. I mean, we've seen that. Because with Jim Harbaugh, I mean, he put up some good seasons, you know, almost double to subdued touchdown seasons. But, um, you know, he put up some great seasons. He put up some all eight seasons, but he didn't put up a thousand yards until Peyton got there, and all of a sudden the stats just went up randomly, you know? But what about Reggie Wayne, though, man? You think he'd be a Hall of Famer without him? Well, I mean, would Reggie Wayne be as good as he is without Peyton Manning? Yeah. You know, what if Reggie Wayne was a Bears wide receiver? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, how do we know how good these guys would be without Manning? Because they've been with them their whole career, you know? It's a, it's, there is a little bit of guesswork involved with that, but um, it's an educated guess. You know, it's not a pie-in-the-sky type thing. And I, I, I certainly think that, you know, it is a team sport, so, so to be a successful quarterback, I mean, we saw it with Brett Favre. The Packers kept bringing in wide receivers for him, you know, Sterling Sharp, Robert Brooks, et cetera, et cetera, Antonio Freeman. You know, I mean, I, I think you look at any quarterback and he had his go-to targets no matter what. Yeah, yeah. But that's my right, guy, I'm Dan Marino. Well, let me ask you this. All right, let me flip the script. Um, has Peyton Manning had better targets than Steve Young or Joe Montana? Uh, wow. I'm going to have to go with I don't even go with Steve Anderson, that Joe Montana, man. I mean, I love Marvin. I'm a huge Marvin guy, man. I got that. The Marvin Harrison jersey right here, bro. Got the autograph and all that. That's my boy right there. But, man, I'm going to have to go with, uh, you know, the 49 receivers. John Taylor. Forgot their tight end. I, I'm made it. I got it. I forgot their tight end. Yeah, right. pretty solid. Roger Craig was basically like a receiver. He was a beast out the backfield. John Taylor. I mean, they, they, they had great targets, bro, and the greatest receiver of all time. So you got to go with uh, Montana and Young's receivers. Yeah, I think so, too. You know, I, 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 I'm in agreement with you on that. Um, all right, so um, let's, go to, uh, let's go to Tim next, because uh, I'm pretty sure Tim's going to bring a compelling argument like usual here. Um, so, Tim... Uh, man, you got to pick. It's, it's a hard question, 
and it's going to warrant a uh, tough answer. Uh, who are you going to pick for your greatest quarterback of all time? I don't think this is a slam dunk, and I think it will figure itself out over the next few years, but I'm going to go with Peyton Manning because he hasn't had a running back since Edger and James. It's been successful. Die had one good year and really hasn't been able to stay healthy. He has had some great receivers, but I think he made them better. I think they were very good, and I think he's made Wayne and Harrison great. Like and I said, the guy went from 800 yards to 1,000, but go on, man. Great point. Yeah, and the guys like Pierre Garçon, Austin Colley, uh, Dallas Clark, and Jacob Tammy, I think he made them into what they are. I mean, they have said that his pass, it almost catches itself. Like, I, I don't even understand. And I think the defense this guy has had on his team has been highly overrated because Roy Freeney's had some health problems. Bob Sanders is gone now, but he can't stay healthy if his life depended on it. So the fact that this guy's been a winner, he's got one ring. I think if he won a second ring, it might close this argument. But I think the fact that he um, has led his team to being so successful year after year after year, they're almost always at 12, 13, 14 wins. So... I think you can make a case for Montana, Johnny Unitas, John Elway, and a couple other guys, but I, I'm going to go with Peyton Manning. And I think Tom Brady is top five. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, that's, uh, a very, that's a very compelling argument. Okay. Um, let's go to Cy. So, Cy, uh, who's your choice? I mean, I, I want to see Johnny Unitas, but I don't want to sound like a PB. Back guys, so. No, no, no. Hey, this is what I want to say. It, actually, piggyback is probably good for your argument, but um, if that's who you feel is the greatest, don't let the fact that someone got in the pick before you change your pick because I want to know who you honestly think is the greatest. Oh, yeah, John Unitas is the greatest quarterback of all time. I mean. Okay. From your point of view. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, what, what makes him that? I mean, he completely changed the way the quarterback position is played because you, know, you look back then, running backs dominated the game. You know, it was a run, it was a ground and pound game pretty much, and he changed the like college you know, football. Yeah, pretty much. Old Ohio State, pretty much, reminds me of. But uh, he threw what was it, thirty touchdowns almost every season, four thousand over, maybe a little under every season. That was unheard of back then. I mean. See, look at his stats. They're like comparable to Peyton Manning's. Uh, some of Peyton Manning's seasons. It's impressive. The game back then. Okay. What about Brian? I have to go with. Uh, I would have to go with uh, Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> no, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to bring up next. Joe Namath. <laughs> no, no, man. Flag belt, man. That's his name, you know. Is one I, I'd, have, I'd have to go with um, that one quarterback. What's his name? John Elway, man. John Elway. Really? Okay. But well, well, wait a minute. He came up short. He came up short so many times, Brian. Came up short. I I, I mean, you, you could say he came up short, but the thing is, though, I mean, I don't look in, I don't take too much stock in the ring. I take more stock in how you perform and in how in how well you do, I mean, you know, you talk about but pressure situations. He, did, he I, didn't win a ring until Terrell Davis carried him, Brian. Yeah, Terrell Davis carried a hell out of the <laughs> Yeah, <t> yeah, <laughs> carry, yeah, carry him, man. <laughs> man, I, I hate, I really hate this argument, man, because really, I mean, you're you, you know, what are you not supposed to do? You're supposed you're supposed to find guys that give your quarterback more options in the in the um. In the, in the game, man, you know. I mean, he played well. Uh, he played well regardless, man. I don't care about the rings. The rings argument is a team accomplishment. That's why I hate the record when guys have show wins and losses, you know. Wait, people say, oh. Out. Don't try to alert in the chat room. Why don't you call in? This guy who is so, he's talking about Kobe Bryant's 